Hello everyone! Welcome to the Base Fitness Quiz Night! We will wait until everybody's here before we begin and then I'll talk you through what you need, what we're going to do and how much fun we're going to have. So we'll just wait until everyone's here. If you're here already you can send us a comment and you can always comment and send us a photo. If you're all around the table you can send us a wee photo of who's with you. Paul's here! <laughs> Who else have we got? Hi Paul! Hello everyone, if you're just arriving, welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll wait until everybody's here before we begin. If you've got, if you want, you can tell us where you are, who you're with, how many people are going to take part. Make sure you have your pen and your paper nearby because you're going to need to write down your own answers. Hello, Paul. Hi, Catherine and Isla. Pen at the ready. Paper at the mm -hmm. ready. Brain switched on. I hope so. We'll give it another minute or so just to make sure everybody's here. I know I'm particularly keen at starting on time, but we'll just give everybody else a little bit. What does that say, Paul? It's a bit early to be uh, to be drinking, Paul. On the sauce. <laughs> cool, we still got another couple of people on the way. Hello, hello everyone. If you're just arriving, that's fine. Tell us who you are, where you are, and how much you're looking forward to getting <laughs> your quiz on. You can also let us know if you're doing it together or as a competition, so... That is true. Yeah. Catherine and Isla, are you as a team or are you versus each other, mum versus daughter? Let us know. Paul's trying to be clever. Right, okay, so we've still got another couple of people arriving, which is great. Hello and welcome. Before we start, I'll just talk you through with what we're going to do. So, it's a quiz. I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to write them down. We have six categories to get through. And there's five questions in each category. However, there may be a bonus question within each question. Hi Val, and plus three, oh the whole family. Excellent, <laughs> good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna write down the answer to each question. We're gonna do every single question, then we'll go back to the start, we'll read out the answers, and you will mark your own answer sheet and you'll count how many points you get. There is a maximum of 36 points available, and the winner is gonna get a super, du cool, super duper cool prize. But I'm not gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> so, are we ready? Got your pen, got your paper, and please, 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 please no cheating, okay? No phones, no, no, go Googling, no Googling, no Siri, no Alexa, what's the capital of Mexico? <laughs> But well, yeah, that's another question. Hey, you're not thick. I do not believe. You had an online teacher meeting with wine at 3 o'clock on a Friday. Okay then, so expect some blurred answers from Morag. That's fine. Right. Let's get this party started. Question number one and personal favourite film of mine. Oh, this is the general knowledge question section, by the way. So, question is... Who was the main character in the movie Die Hard? Okay, I'll repeat that again. Who was the main character in the movie Die Hard? For a bonus question, who played that character? Yeah? Okay, so you get two questions there. If you can get both, you get two points. But we'll wait and see if you're right at the end. Question number two. This is a true or false question. The Bahamas are made up of more than 700 islands. True or false? The Bahamas are made up of more than 700 islands. True or false? Write it down and let's move on. The third general knowledge question is 
What is the name of the parallel universe in the Netflix show Stranger Things? So good. If you've not seen it, it's so good. <laughs> yes, Paul. Keep your mouth shut. I will repeat that question again. What is the name of the parallel universe in the Netflix series Stranger Things? Write that down. Next up, question number four. How many players are in a netball team? Write that down. I will, answer, I will ask that again. How many players are in a netball team? Final question in the general knowledge section is who wrote the Game of Thrones books? Yeah. Most people watched it on Sky. We didn't. We got as far as the first episode of the first season and gave up. But most people liked it. I did read the first book. And that's what I want to know. Who wrote the Game of Thrones books? Write that down. You should have a maximum of six answers there. Question one was a two-part question. Make sure you've got all your answers down. Give each other a high five if you think you did well. If you didn't do particularly well, don't worry. There's plenty of time to get back in the game. Round number two. The category is sports. Okay? Sports. First up, this is always a Christmas special for the Lenten household. <laughs> Who is the current world's strongest man? I will repeat that question. Who is the current world's strongest man? It was very entertaining. If you haven't seen it, see if you can find it because those men are just scarily strong. Question number two. There is a two-part question. And if you get the second part correct, then I do admire your sporting knowledge. Yep. The question is... Who holds the 100 meter world record running? Men and women. Who has the 100 meter world record? Men Male and, female. and women. Male and female. Two part question. If you get the female one right, I'll be mighty impressed. That was definitely a Google job for Ian. Question number three in sport. Which sport is Silverstone best associated with? Which sport is Silverstone best associated with? I'll write that down. I will come back to it. Make sure it's nice and clear. We don't want to see any scribbles, any, oh, that could have been right, could have been wrong. We've got to make sure it's right. Okay? Next up, question number four. Again, another two-part question. Male and female answers, if you know them. What is the Guinness World Record time for holding the plank? The male record was quite recent. You may remember it in the news, but I once correct to within five minutes how long that plank was held for, both for men and for women. Okay? What is the Guinness World Record time for holding the plank? Last question. Again, a two-parter. Who won the 2019 Rugby World Cup? Who won the 2019 Rugby World Cup? And for a bonus point, who did they beat? So who won and who lost the 2019 Rugby Rugby World Cup. That is the end of the sport section. Take a second. Give yourself a little round of applause if you did well. Give yourself a little tap on the head if you didn't. Waking up that brain. And let's get ready for the next section. If you want to send a comment back, we have Susie over here typing away, answering your questions, answering any messages you may have for us. The next section is... Music. And if you are ready, we will begin. Question number one in the music.
category. What Queen song is in the movie Wayne's World? What Queen song is in the movie Wayne's World? And if you are at home, feel free to do the associated dance with that song. Question number two of the music category. Which artist performed the theme song for the James Bond film Spectre? I'll repeat that question. Which artist performed the theme song for the James Bond film Spectre? Which I think was the last James Bond film. Yeah, yeah I think it was. Yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, so what artist performed Someone the theme song? Someone can correct us if we've missed it. If it's not the last one, feel free to yeah. correct me. But I want the song for that film. <laughs> Don't care when it was. Um, question number three. Um, this was quite a surprise for me. Um, quite impressive, actually. But uh, the question is, which artist holds the record for the most attended and highest grossing tour of all time? Which artist holds the record for the most attended and highest grossing film, uh, nope, sorry, tour <laughs> of all time? Musical tour. This is the music category, not the film category. I'll say it again because I confused myself. <laughs> Which artist holds the record for the most attended and highest grossing tour of all time? Yeah, so we want the name of the artist. The name of the artist. Yeah. Not the film. There's no film. Just the name of the artist. <laughs> Did you say film? I said film. Stop <laughs> laughing at me. Question number four. The song, What a Man Gotta Do, is by which American group? I also did not know the answer to this question. I had to Google. But I hope you know the answer, because it's worth... One very important point. I will repeat the question. The song, What a Man Got to Do, is by which American group? Right, last question for the music category. This is another two-parter. Who and what won the best song at this year's Brit Awards? So who and what won the best song at this year's Brit Awards? And Jennifer Jennifer says, "Can we sing can, it?" You can sing it. I'm not singing it. That would be that would be bad news. Um, no, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody. So A is the artist name, and B is the song. Second name. point, if you know the actual name of the song that won. Two points and off for there. The best song at the Brit. And two points could be very very important towards the end. <laughs> right, that is us halfway through the quiz. Three rounds down and three rounds to go. Take your time, grab yourself a drink if you need, throw us a question. If you want to send a video of yourself singing that song, Jennifer, then feel free. I'm not doing it. Category number four Geography. I was always quite good at geography in school. It's probably one of the few things I was quite good at at school. Um, but here we go. Geography. First question. What is the capital of Kenya? I'll repeat that question. What is the capital of Kenya? Write that down. No bonus point. <laughs> Yes, I have done a lot of classes this week. You're not working out. You're just doing a quiz. You might not need to drink as much as you do when you're working <laughs> Grab out. Grab yourself it's a just... drink. Grab yourself a towel. Just wipe down the sweat. Wipe off that sweat. Stressful workout Remember here. to breathe. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Question number two in the geography category is where are the next Winter Olympics being held? Okay. Where are the next Winter Olympics being held? 
No Googling, no Siri, no Alexa, just brain power and team power if you're in a team. The next Winter Olympics, so not the Summer Olympics that was meant to be this year, but now next year, the Winter mm -hmm. Olympics that's following, whatever that may be. Question number three of geography is who founded I did put quotation marks around that because there was already people there who founded the Americas in a boat yeah founded because there was people already there who founded the Americas write that down question number four of the geography category how many states are there in the United States of America? I think you might find this a little harder than it should be. How many states are there in the United States of America? Last question. Kind of geography, kind of food. I'm hungry. Last question in geography. In Italy... What is mortadello a type of? One last time. In Italy, what is mortadello a type of? Write down your answer to that question. And then as I finished, round number four. We have two rounds to go. How are we getting on so far, everybody? Every single question, right? Um... A few people said that your questions are quite hard. My questions are quite hard, is that so? Well, maybe it's not me if the questions are hard. Maybe maybe we need to go back to school. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't know half of these. I just pulled them off the internet. I think we searched a few of these. <laughs> we do not know these answers. I don't, I don't know all of them. I don't know all of them. I know the next one. I know the next one that's coming. So if we're ready, the next subject is history. I do know... That somebody who I think is here is actually a history teacher. She might not be here. I think she's here. So, there should be no reason to get all of these questions wrong if you are here, mm -hmm. history teacher. Everybody else, give it your best shot. Question number one in the history subject is, what year was the Battle of Bannockburn? It's just over there. Just, just over there. What year was the Battle of Bannockburn? And that's got to be exactly right. If you get that wrong, if you're one year above or below, err, wrong. Question number two. This one I will give you a little bit of leeway, but not much. Question number two in the history category is, how old is the Wallace Monument? How old is the Wallace Monument in years? I will give you a year or two leeway, but not more. Question number three in history is, who was the first man on the moon? Who was the first Man on the moon. Write that down. Question number four. Now, I'm going to admit this slightly embarrassingly. I should know the answer to this, but I didn't know the answer to this. But I do now, because Google told me. But I think most people are going to know the answer to this. If not, your history knowledge is as bad as mine. Question number four in the history section is... What year did World War One start? I didn't know that. I had to Google. What year did World War One start? Write it down. Okay, last question in the history category. Who was the first president of the United States of America? I'll give you a hint. It was not Donald Trump, although I'm sure he would like to take credit for that. I will say it once more. 
Who was the first president of the United States of America? Answer that question. Okay, team, here we come. The last, final, five questions. One's a two-parter. My favorite round, maybe. <laughs> my favorite round, too. Our, fav I'm, our, our favorite round. We did know all the answers to these questions. It might be your favorite round. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's not the only round that everybody gets the answers right to. There'd be nothing wrong with that. There'd be nothing wrong with that. We know all the answers. <laughs> so, this is the Disney category. <laughs> Disney films and general trivia. Question number one. In the Disney film The Lion King, what was Simba's father called? I will repeat that question. In the Disney film The Lion King, what was Simba's father called? Write that down. Question number two in the Disney category. What film has the characters Sven and Kristoff? Yes, I have seen it. Yes, it is quite good. Both of them. Three of them. Four of them. Just two. We finally know one! That's surely not it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This, ne Nicola says this is more our level. Next week's quiz night will be all Disney. <laughs> yeah. Who needs to know about history, we eh? Do, we can do that. Kids films. Love it. Question number three, and this is a two-parter. Question number three. Who voiced the genie in the film Aladdin? You get one point for the new film and one point for the old film. So there was two people. You'll get it right if you only get one answer, but this is your chance to make up some time, to make up some points. Two points on offer. Two one points question. on offer. Who voiced the genie in the movie Aladdin? Two points. Okay, we got two questions to go. Mike Wazowski and James Sullivan are characters in which movie series? Mike Wazowski and James Sullivan are characters in which movie series? Write it down. So, Jennifer saying, can we repeat question number two? Of course you can. Yep. Of course you can. Question number two in the Disney category was... This is question number two, not question number five. Question number two. What film has characters Sven and Kristoff? One more time. What film has characters Sven and Kristoff? <laughs> we can put some music on if you like. Or is it just the wine that's coming through? Who knows? Right, last question. And then we're done. Then we'll go through all the answers. The last question is, who voiced Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story movies? What is the name of the actor who voiced Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story movies? Can we do musicals next week instead of Disney? Oh. We, we, we'll, how about we'll do a musical. We, we, we can do that. We can do that. Cool. Right, that's it. That is all the questions. Should we run through the questions like super quick? No. That'll oh. take far too much time. If you really need to know any questions if you... again, if you didn't hear them, then I'm happy to repeat them, but there's a lot of questions and, and, and I'm not going through them again. Unless you need me to. We will run through the questions again and then I will tell you the answer before we say the answer. Okay. So flip back over. Remember, some of these are two-parters. You get one point per question. There's a maximum of 36 points available. Are we ready? Are you set? Winner will be announced shortly. Oh, oh, we didn't think of a tiebreaker. If people get the same result, the same number of points, there will be a fast, what do we call it? A fast, a fast, 
A fast I fire round, a lightning yeah, round yeah. of Disney based questions, and the first, first person, person to, to type in. the answer wins the prize. Yeah. Always, oh no, no, no. Missed you all missed all, all of round, round six. six! That was the best round! Where were you? Okay, okay, right, okay. Right. We'll go back. Someone, okay, yeah. Right, more, right. more Aggie, you ready? Right, this is, <laughs> this is round six. We're gonna go through round six, the Disney round, all over again. Just to make sure that Morag and family all got it. <laughs> Question number one. For the Disney, last round that we just did was... Yeah. What was Simba's father called in the movie Lion King? What was Simba's father called in the movie Lion King? Cool. Question number two. Jennifer, pay attention if you didn't get this one. What film has characters Sven and Kristoff? I'll say it again. What film has characters Sven and Kristoff? Question number three. Two part question. Who voiced the genie in Aladdin? The current film, most recent film, and the old cartoon film. Two actors. Two names, two points available. Who voiced the genie in Aladdin? Question number four in the Disney category. Mike Wazowski and James Sullivan are characters in which film series? Mike Wazowski and James Sullivan are in which film series? The last question in the Disney section. Who filmed Buzz... Who oh, filmed? <laughs> he didn't film it. He voiced it. He voiced it. Who voiced Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story series? One last time. Who voiced Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story series? Morag, I hope you heard all of that. Because we're not doing it again. That was all of the Disney questions. All of round number six. <laughs> So let's go back to the very start and go through all of the answers from the top. So the first category was, are we all ready? Excited to get your results to see how well you did in this quiz. Big, big prizes on offer. Maybe not. Question number one was, what was the name of the main character in the movie Die Hard? Two part question. The character, the main character in Die Hard was John McClane. And who was the actor who played John McClane in Die Hard? Was Bruce Willis. So two points. One point for John McClane, one point for Bruce Willis. If you only got one of those, you only get one point. If you got zero of those, guess what? Zero points. Nil point. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> We've been doing French lessons. We're not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two was... <laughs> oh. True or false? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. True or false? The Bahamas are made up of more than 700 islands. This blew me away. It's true. 700 islands. I think it was probably a guess for most people. Jennifer says, so far 100%. <laughs> which is good, because we're is, on question that two. That is good. Question two and Jennifer's smashed it. Yeah. Good. Good. I like it. I like it. Get in there early. So I'll just repeat that again. The Bahamas are made up of more than 700 islands. True or false? The answer was true. true. Question number three. What is the name of the parallel universe in the Netflix show Stranger Things? The answer is the Upside Down. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's way better than Game of Thrones. Question three was, what was the name of the parallel universe in Stranger Things? The answer was Upside Down. The Upside Down. Question four. How many players in a netball team? 
The answer, lucky number seven. How many players in a netball team? Seven. Okay, last general knowledge question. Who wrote the Game of Thrones books? The answer is George R. R. Martin. Who wrote the Game of Thrones books? The answer is George R. R. Martin. If you don't remember the RR, George Martin will do just fine. Give yourself one point. So that's round number one. There are six points available. Give yourself a mark out of six. And let's move on to round number two, which was the sports rounds. The first question being, who is the current world's strongest man? The answer is Martins Lissis. Who is the world's current strongest man? Martins Lissis. If you didn't see it at Christmas time, you should go back. It's pretty entertaining. There is two Scottish guys, two brothers who did very well. They should do well in the future. Question number two. A two-parter, male and female answers if you have them. Who, hold, who holds the 100 meter world record? The men's world record is held by Usain Bolt with a time of 9 seconds, point five nine. Six nine? Five nine. Five nine. Nine point five nine. And the fastest winning women's time is Florence Griffith Joyner. I didn't know that. I had to Google it. If you know that, give yourself a bonus point and be very pleased with your knowledge. Yvonne, thanks for coming. You can catch up later on if you wish to know the answers or let me know and I can email you them and you can correct your own. You might win. Bye, See you next week. Um, question number three in the sport category. Which sport is Silverstone best associated with? The answer is Formula One. Racing. Which sport is Silverstone best associated with? Formula One. Hey, good skills and knowing your, your fast lady knowledge. That was, that was very impressive. Question number four. Two-part question, male and female answers. What is the Guinness World Record time for holding the plank? For men, the record is a rather astounding 8 hours and 15 minutes. Which is crazy. Which is a long time. Because we said, like, did he not go to the toilet? Or did he not eat? Like, think, think about it. It's pretty think impressive. To be it. holding the plank for eight hours. a minute is pretty challenging. For, for, eight, for eight hours, <laughs> that man has not got much I'd be too hungry. To I'd be like, I have to stop. <laughs> Give me the snacks. Snacks. <laughs> and the uh, world record time for the woman is four hours and 19 minutes. I will give a five minute leeway on both of those answers, but no more than five minutes, either side. Eight hours, 15 for the men, four hours, 19 for the woman. Uh, no, no you do not. No, eight hours, 15, give or take five minutes. No, eight hours is not acceptable. How, how many people Ooh, wrote, oh, is, is Ian being too stingy? Ian's being a bit, yeah. Oh. Look, let's round it to the full, let's round it to hours, right? So... Uh, 30 minutes! Let's just say eight hours okay, for right, male fine, and fine. four for female. So on the, uh, hours, on the button, on the nose. Eight, eight hours for men, for men and four hours for women. This is very controversial. I feel, there's definitely not 23 hours. That's, that's the wine talking there, Morag. You should, you should cut back. Uh, but no, not 23 hours. Eight hours for men, four hours for women. No give or takes. Well done if you well got Well done that. if you got that, because that's yeah. mighty impressive. Yeah. Okay, the last question. Another two-parter, two points available. Who won the 2019 Rugby World Cup? Was South Africa. And they beat, for an extra point, England. So one point for South Africa, one point for England. And that's the end of the sports round. 
There was one, two, three, four, five, six. Six points available. No, that's not right. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. It was eight. eight points available for that. So yes. mark yourselves out of eight points. For round two. For round number two. Put it down and let's move on. Next up. Music. Music. What Queen song is in the film Wayne's World? The answer is Bohemian Rhapsody. If you perform the head movements at home, then you can give yourself a high five. <laughs> Question number two. Who performed the theme song in the James Bond film Spectre? That was Sam Smith. You could have had an extra bonus point for the title, but we're not doing that because I don't know what it was. Uh... Question number three. Bonus point for Susie. She got it right. I didn't know that. Which artist holds the record for the most attended and highest grossing tour? The artist was Ed Sheeran with a tour of 893 days long. That's a long time. That's a long time. Question number four in the music category. The song... What a man got to do is by which American group? The answer was the Jonas Brothers. Last question in the music category. Who and what won best song at this year's Brit Awards? Two part question. You get one point for the artist who was Louis Capaldi and you get one point for the song which was Someone You Loved. So that is worth six points that round. Tally up your score, mark it down, and let's move on. Geography. How good is your geography knowledge? First question, what is the capital of Kenya? The answer is Nairobi. If you got that right, give yourself a point. If you didn't, better look at map. Question number two. Where are the next Winter Olympics being held? You can either give me the city or the country. I'll take either. One point available for Beijing slash China. Winter Olympics in Beijing slash China. One point. Question number three. Who founded the Americas? The answer was, is Christopher Columbus. One point. Question number four, in geography, how many states are there in the United States of America? There are 50. 50 states in America. Last question in geography, in Italy, what is mortadello a type of? It is a type of sausage. So, that's the end of geography. There are five points available. Mark yourself out of five. And let's move on to history. I don't think our history teacher is here, so she can't correct me if we're too wrong, which is probably a good thing. So, first question was, what year was the Battle of Bannockburn? 1314. 1314. I do believe. Um, ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. Lorna, you can have cured meat for mortadello. That's the same thing, isn't it? Um, question number two in history. How old is the Wallace Monument? Give or take one year, no more. It is 151 years old. Because 2019 was the 150 year anniversary. So if you said 150, I'll take it. If you said 151, you're right. One point available. Question number three. Who was the first man on the moon? And that was, of course, Neil Armstrong. Not Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Question number four. <laughs> Question number four. Serious. Pay attention. <laughs> What year did World War I start? That was 1914. Thanks, Google, for telling me the answer to that. 
World War One started in 1914. And the last history question. The first president of the United States of America was... George Washington. So how many points? How many points available? Uh, five points. Just five so points. So mark yourself round. out of fives. <clears throat> five. And we'll move on to the last round, which seems was the favourite round. Hit round, Disney. <laughs> the hit round of Disney classical films and kids' films. First question was, in the hit film, The Lion King, what was Simba's father called? He was called Mufasa. I don't know why that's funny, but it is. Question number two. What film has characters Sven and Kristoff? That is, of course, Frozen. Frozen. Feel free to sing the theme song in your house just to annoy the rest of your family. <laughs> Question number three. A two-parter worth two points here. Who voiced the genie in Aladdin? In the original cartoon version, it was, of course, Robin Williams. In the most recent film, it was Will Smith. So two points, one for Robin Williams and one for Will Smith. Question four in Disney. Mike Wazowski and James Sullivan are characters in which film series? That was, of course, Monsters, Inc. Inc. Which is very good. I did enjoy that. Okay, team, last question. Who voiced Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story film series? And that was Tim Allen. So that was the Disney round. Mark yourselves out of six points available there. And then tally up your total score. You should be a total of 36 points available. And then being as honest as you possibly can. Susie's just checking I did the maths, right? Because nobody back. Like no. I can't be trusted in this game. Oh, was that just one It's point? 36. I counted like four times. Go for it. Um, Go so, for it. count up your score. And then send us a comment with how many you got. Paul got 21. That's cool. That's pretty good. It's not bad. And then we will announce the winner. And we will also... Have a tiebreaker if we need to. Hey, that's pretty good. Whoa, 27, 27 is the new leader. 27 for the Dawsons. Oh, what else did we get, team? We still counting. Uh, it's okay. I, I was never very good at counting either. Um, so take your time. Marks out of 36. And then we will announce the world champion of the inaugural base fitness. Oh, 26. That's pretty good. That's oh, good. Oh, oh, what are the chances of that? 27. So we already do have a tie. Oh, 28. Oh, 28. Oh, that's not favoritism. They may be sisters in laws, but. <laughs> okay, so we got 28 for the Pitums. Is that the current highest? Uh, 28 is the current highest. 28 is the current highest. Um, oh, you're 6 out of 6 to Disney. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, you can always go back and watch this again um, later on. Or if you wish, I can just send you the results. But well done on getting 6 out of 6 in the Disney section. That was That's good going. Uh, any other results to come in before we announce the winner? The Banks oh, got Jennifer 22. Got, banks got 22. That's cool. Nicola, 23. Yeah, some, some, hey, these are all really good. Some pretty consistent yeah. scoring here going on. Just letting the internet catch up. It was pretty close. It was pretty close. Oh, the Purvis oh, family. Oh, the Purvis family. 29. 29. Jeez. That's, that's impressive. That is, that is mighty fine going. So we have a new leader in the Purvis family, closely followed by the Pittum family, closely followed by the Frasers and the Dawsons. 
This is, this is... And we got some other shout outs. Oh, we got so... we got a 19 coming in. That's fine. Just blame it on the wine, Morag. Blame it on the wine. <laughs> and we had the Johnson family. What'd they get? 13. Susan Crossan. Tracy. Thanks, everyone. Taking part. Wow. Thanks, everybody, for coming. So I think... We'll give it another 30 seconds to see if any more results come in, but I think we have a winner with 29 points. Yep. Goes to the Purvis family. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Well done, well done. Uh, which is good because it means we don't have to really fit quickly think up of a tiebreaker round. That would have been <laughs> yeah. um, slightly embarrassing. But um, I hope you all had fun. Your prize is to give your team a high five, and we'll give you a virtual high five. <laughs> and if we ever see you in person again, then you can come and demand a prize. Um, let's do this again. That was good fun. Then, so, if you have any requests of categories, I think Disney. Disney was a hit. I think um, musicals was a request. Musicals was a request. Yeah. So we could just do an entertainment. I like friends. We could do a friends uh, category. Okay, we'll do we'll do like a we'll let you know an entertainment quiz. We can change the subject every week because we might be here for a while. So <laughs> let's make it a date. Friday night, six p.m. is quiz night. And more workouts coming next week. Oh yeah, of course. Well, there's there's more information coming tomorrow morning. So, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, have yourselves a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you all soon. Thank you very much for taking part. Well done again to the Purvis family. Closely followed. Hot and healed by the Pittums. Fraser's. Everybody, the Fraser's. Perry. The Dawson's. Oh, crushed it. Crushed it. Thanks a lot. We will see you real soon. Have yourselves a good weekend. See you next week. Bye.